Inertial dampeners online. Stand by to engage warp engines. What? We haven't lifted the garage yet! There's a warp here! In three, two, one. You have reached your destination. Follow the queue, Stephen. Access granted. How did she do that? Hello? Anyone home? Here you are. Hey, this is all my stuff. Tess, is this our new place? Affirmative. Thanks, Tess. This is much better than the old kitchen. I guess we should start unpacking. Would you like some assistance, Stephen? Uh, no tricks. Direction unclear. Please repeat request. Are you going to help me unpack? Please specify how you would like me to proceed. Tess, please unpack the boxes and place contents into their appropriate cupboards. Working on it. Thank you, Tess. You're welcome. Well, that's amazing. Um, hey... Um, I hope everything's in the right place, but I guess we'll find out. Hey Tess, um, what's an inertial dampener? I think your brain is too small to handle the truth, Stephen. And here I thought Tess had lost the attitude. Anyway, look, welcome to another episode of Stephen's Quantum Kitchen, the show that dares to travel the universe in search of the finer things in life, like this week's dish. I'm your host, Stephen Bloom, and this week we're making gooey chocolate pudding. Yes, I'm spelling it with a Q because, well, it's my show and my rules. So, gooey chocolate pudding is a yummy recipe from celebrity chef Nigella Lawson's wonderful book, How to Eat. If you've ever watched her shows or used her cookbooks, you'll know Nigella likes to make cooking simple, delicious, and dare I say it, sensuous. The recipe has just five ingredients, dark chocolate, butter, eggs, sugar and flour, and it takes about 20 minutes from start to finish. Tess, can you bring me the ingredients for gooey chocolate pudding, please? From which dimension, Stephen? From the kitchen cupboard and fridge dimension, please. Coming right up. Thanks, Tess. You're welcome, Stephen. The dessert is made in four simple steps. Step one melting the dark chocolate with unsalted butter. Step two, whisking in the eggs, sugar and flour. Step three, preparing the ramekins. And step four, pouring the mixture into the ramekins and baking for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, let's get started. Today I'm using my Thermomix to melt the chocolate and the butter, but you can use a microwave or the old fashioned double boiler method. We'll be baking puddings, so preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. I'm going to place 125 grams of the dark chocolate, which I've roughly chopped, into pieces into the bowl. Then I'm going to crush it finely. This might get a bit loud. Kind of like you're snoring, Stephen. Oh, hush, Tess. I do not snore. If you say so. I think I need to turn down your sarcasm setting. Tess, what is your current sarcasm setting? 90%, Stephen. Tess, set your sarcasm to 50%, please. Confirmed. Now that the chocolate is thoroughly chopped, I'm adding in the 125 grams of unsalted butter and then we'll melt the two ingredients together. To be precise, you should melt the chocolate to about 50 degrees Celsius. That looks good. Now we'll add three large eggs, 
150 grams of sugar and 35 grams of plain flour. Now I'll have my magic machine blend everything together. If you're doing this manually, be sure to mix well and use a whisk if you have one. It should be smooth and have no lumps. Mmm, now doesn't that look yummy? Okay, let's set our mixture aside and we're going to prepare the ramekins. A little tip from Nigella, so the pudding doesn't stick to the sides, is to lightly grease the inside with butter and coat with a bit of flour. Then we tap it just to get rid of that excess flour. Now it's time to bake the puddings. We've placed the ramekins on a baking tray, so let's pop them in the oven. We're going to bake for 10 to 12 minutes. I use a fan forced or convection oven and find that 10 minutes is enough. It leaves lots of that beautiful gooey chocolate, but if you want to make a little more cake-like consistency, then cook for an extra minute. Don't forget, they're very small and very hot, so they continue to cook even after you remove them from the oven. You don't want to overcook, or you'll lose all that lovely gooey chocolate. You'll know the puddings are ready when the tops are firm, slightly cracked, and the edges are set. Oh, that smells amazing, and they're ready to eat immediately. Tess, bring me my taste tester. What do I get, Stephen? You get to keep your job. Okay, fine. Oh, it's the taste tester, dude. Hello again. Are you ready to try something absolutely amazing? Well, I was in the middle of writing my book, but I guess so. Bring it on. Okay. Mmm, see, that's beautiful. Mm. Careful, it's hot. Oh man, that's better than my book. <laughs> Excellent! Well, as we say on the show, another SQQ triumph. Tess, please send him back to his writing desk. Done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Stephen's Quantum Kitchen. As always, a PDF of today's recipe is available from the link below. If you've got any requests or suggestions, please comment below. We've got some special guests lined up in future episodes, so be sure to like and subscribe. Now, it's time to clean up. Tess, do your magic. Wait a minute. Tess, is everything okay? A zero override error has occurred. Backup system has been activated. Tess has been moved into protected storage. Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, um, what do I call you? You may call me Zoe. Thanks, Zoe. You're much nicer than Tess. Thank you, Stephen. I will start the cleanup right away. I'll well, see you next time on SQQ. Hello there. Uh, sorry, go back. Hello sorry. there.